here in my garage. Okay, so this is a completely different style of video than I set out to make weeks prior. And as a now fully matured individual, <laughs> I have elevated. So now this is a presentation. Do I say it? A video essay? Wait, you're seriously gonna make me edit a whole essay? Oh my fuck. <laughs> Okay, I'll show you the build in a bit, but hear me out. Why do we play video games? Is it to relax after the laborious exhaustion of a 9 to 5? Or to escape the monotony of an unstimulating school environment? Perhaps you just need to occasionally monkey out with some fellow autists. Whatever the reason may be, how do you answer these questions? Have I ever been bored of a game, but continued to play it? Or have I continued playing a game for no other reason than simply to progress? If you answered yes to either of these, then have you pondered why? Why continue playing? This is the Honda S2000. Or if you get it out for drifting, it becomes a Honda. Wow. Among all of the cars in Need for Speed Unbound, there are so many which go faster and handle better. However, if you grew up during the height of JDM car culture, played the underground games, and enjoyed racing films when they mainly stuck to the source material, then this car may feel at home for you. At the very least, it's recognizable as a quintessential tuner. Originally, I simply wanted to showcase how good this car was in the A-plus tier, but to tell you the truth, this setup won't often effortlessly win you races. No, you'll still need to try in order to place well in most playlists. However, this ride made me realize something. In a game full of pre-made, off-the-shelf winning machines, which allow you to purchase your success, this S2000 encourages me to earn it. This $2 million Ferrari is fast, but I'm basically driving a time trial most races. And where are the mods? You know, with our societies becoming more individualistic, why is it that as our options for personalization evaporate at the upper echelons of achievement, we're still encouraged to climb higher? If I am truly myself, then I will be happy walking my own path. This is even something my buddy Dis realized while I battled for the next race position, as he was 20 seconds ahead of the pack and missing all of the action. Shortly thereafter, we both raced with vehicles more suitable for the competition. No, no, not trucks, but that was also fun. Alright, let me show you under the hood. Oh, and maybe one day this franchise will revisit the levels of customization it once boasted. For a grip build, we kept the 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine, sport class, and you can pause the video to copy the performance mods. Now, you could run a supercharger instead of the twin turbo. On paper, the car will have more horsepower and torque, but on the tarmac, in my experience, it's more loose. This is because in order to accommodate the extra point which the superchargers add to your tier number, you'll need to tune for slightly less grip. It's probably negligible and just placebo, but I had an easier time controlling the car with higher grip and a dual spool. Then I set the S2000 up with max engine mods, again on the stock engine, and in order to keep it within the A-plus tier, which tops out at 269, I swapped to the Elite off-road suspension, Sport brakes, and Pro off-road tires, Super Clutch, Sport 5-speed transmission, and Elite differential. These higher-classed mods might seem unintuitive for lowering the stats, but since they give us more room toward the drift end of the slider, they actually allow us to keep the tier number lower. Maybe not with every car or in every tier, but in this case it works. Funny enough, I prefer for this driftier tune for the highway races, it holds a higher top speed at 197 miles per hour, and, believe it or not, handles better too. At least, for me, anyway. I'll often have issues with spinning out using grip builds, perhaps it's just my driving style, using the handbrake somewhat often. However, if you like to slam your car into the corners and piss boost out, this build might work well for you all around.
Perhaps it is synchrony which brought to light some of the most fun experiences I've had while driving in Unbound. Maybe it's a paradigm shift in my thinking. No longer am I chasing a number which shows I am something I am not. Nor am I meandering without direction, awaiting inspiration to show the way forward. No, now I play games the way I want to. For me. And for the content. Yeah, but they don't need to know that. Uh, where? What was I? Oh yeah. That's really why we play these games, isn't it? We play to have fun. And for and the content. While winning is fun, and biochemically significant, should it really be our main goal? Most of us aren't here to fulfill some ideological or spiritual journey, but we're here to enjoy our time. So ultimately, the fastest car in Unbound doesn't matter. Until next time, Bulk Mulch out. Thank <laughs> you.